everybody and welcome back to another brand new Aviation Jack video. Today you join me again in MSFS 2020 and today it's going to be another tutorial as uh, Simbrief have recently announced that you can now use Simbrief routes in Microsoft Flight Simulator which is amazing because I've always used Simbrief um, to plan my flights so I thought why, what better than to show you guys how to use Simbrief integrated with MSFS. So let's get, without further ado let's get on with it. So what you want to do is just as you're going to plan a normal flight, go to the world map. And here we are. So we're on the world map here. If we go back over to Europe, there we go. So let's say I wanted to plan a flight from London Gatwick to uh, Madrid. What we would do is select the plane we want. So if we go to all, let's go on the A320. Click the A320 Neo. And if you want to know how to install liveries, it was my last video that I uploaded. So here we go, all the livers. Well, let's fly EasyJet to Madrid from Gatwick. So we've got this set, okay? We've got where we want to fly to. We haven't put anything in yet because we don't need to. If we now go to the internet, wrong one, there we go. If we go to the internet, go over to Simbrief um, online, what you want to do is you're going to be met with a dispatch system once you log in and use everything, um, all your details have been logged into. You want to press create new flight and then fill out all the information required. So on airline, you go from obviously top to bottom, so you would type in easy, and then the flight number of your choice, or a real one, depends on what one you're using, uh, departure, EGKK, arrival, LEMD, which is the ICAL for Madrid. Uh, airframe, you want to go to A320. There's no A320 Neo one here, so A320 is the best you've got. Doesn't really matter, because we're talking about the route. What we want to do is go quickly over here, make sure this is all good. When you find Europe, the units for fuel is kilograms, uh, the OFP layout, we find EasyJet, so you want to go to Easy, and that's all that section done. This part, you can choose whether you want to um, fill it in or not, but you don't have to. I usually always change the registration just to make things a bit more realistic. So if I was doing a P3D, I'd obviously change it to EZUA UA or something like that. Time and route is 2 hours and 50 minutes. You don't touch any of this unless you want to change your passengers, cargo, and zero fuel weight, but this does it automatically for you. And then come down here, and as you can see, you have a route. Make sure you press analyze route before, uh, just to make sure it's um, valid. So the route distance is 780 nautical miles and it's valid with the ARAC 2009 or 2009, which is the month we're in currently. Um, you can have different routes if you want different routes, but I always use one that's best for what we're flying. It gives you the best route. Um, then we're given with the map of how the route looks. So this is how it looks, you know, Madrid's right here, alternate airport was LAAB, not sure what airport that is. Um, so this is our route, Gatwick, so we depart out of here, go to Maruk, go to Basic, direct to Northern, and then through to Ratas, and then, <laughs> Ratas, sorry, <laughs> and then what we're going to do is go up to the top, press save flight, so you've got that saved, and press generate OFP, click yes. What this is now going to do is going to generate a briefing package for you, just like a real um, airline ops, it will do it all for you. Here we go, so this is just the overview of your flight, so your easy, your flight number, your aircraft, your call sign, origin, destination, alternate, cruise, flight level, date, departure, airtime, block time, block fuel, extra fuel, zero fuel weight, takeoff weight, your routing, and all of this here. If I was you to keep this page open during your flight in case you want to check anything, and this is the your OFP. So this is everything to do with your flight, very, very long. And if you're new to Flight Sim and you don't know how to read it or you don't know what any of this means, you can always uh, click this, which is how do I read this flight plan. If you click on that really quickly, what you can do is you hover over anything and it will tell you exactly what it is, which is I think is a really, really nice way to, um, what's it called, really, really nice way to learn if you're new. Then what you want to do is you want to export it. And then if you can do this now, you can see it says FS2020 with new next to it, so you won't miss it. You're going to download the file, like so. There's a file in your downloads right there, or wherever your download is saved to. This is in my downloads here. So that's it, that's what you've got to do. You come back to Flights in 2020, and down here it says load slash save, or you can press the spacebar. We want to click load. Okay, load. There we go. Go to downloads, and here is the flight plan which you've downloaded. Press open. Give it a chance to load it, and here we have your departure. So literally what I just said, this is all here, the exact same. So if should we see Ratas is there? There we go, Ratas. So we know it's the right <laughs> flight plan. Literally what you just saw in Simbrief is right here. You can always change this to departures that you want, but 
If you're doing it online, say on VATSIM, you get given the departure. That is required of you, so there's no need to really change it. But there we have it. This is everything, this is anything you need to do. And then when you press fly, your flight plan will be loaded into the aircraft. You don't have to do anything. So there we have it. Thank you for watching the video. I will see you next time, and I hope you it helped. And if you need any other tutorials on MSF or MSFS 2020, comment below what you want to see, and I will sure let you know. See you soon. Bye-bye.